we're going to start with the picture today. Okay? You've seen better pictures. Oh, thanks. But it's okay, no? We'll put it up on the board so everyone can see it. Okay. So what can you see, Mott? At the top, on the right, there's a clock. The clock says 25 to 5, correct. And? In the middle of the picture, at the bottom, there's a frog. Yes. Then, you're on the left of the picture, and I'm on the right. We're behind the frog. And what's behind us? There's a branch, yes. And on the branch, there's a parrot, a grey parrot. What is it doing? It's eating a piece of cucumber, right. The grey parrot's name is Trilby. Yes, I know. He's your friend. Yes, I know that too. He's a genius. No, Mott, he thinks he's a genius. It's not the same thing. Can we visit him? Uh, soon. Well, no, not today, because we have things to do. Well, for a start, we're going to look at another picture. It's a picture of our holiday in Norway, four years ago. Before you were born, that's right. Yes, how time flies. Well, we're going to describe it. On the right, there's a boat. And on the left, there's a hut. For the cruise company offices. Yes, Mod. And Steph's at the front of the picture on the right. In the middle of the picture, there's some water. Yes, that's the sea. And then in the middle of the picture at the back, there are some mountains. Very good, Mott. Anything else? There's something at the top of the picture on the left. It's a plane. Right, Mott. It's time we put one up for the viewers, isn't it? Do you have a good one? You won't get it then. Thank you, Mott. Oh, it's old. But it's good. Yes, it is. It looks fun. Let's do it. Can you describe this picture? Focus on the details with numbers next to them. Here are some answers. At the top of the picture, on the left, there is a balloon. In a basket under the balloon, there is a woman. And a French flag. Very true, Mott. At the front of the picture, on the left, there is a man and a woman. In a park, I guess. The man's wearing a long jacket, and the woman's wearing a long dress. In the middle of the picture, there's a man with a stick. He has a funny hat, and he's got his hand in his pocket. On the right, at the front, there's another couple. They're sitting on the ground. Then behind this couple, at the front of the picture, there's a tree. 
or part of a tree. Good. That's that. One thing I forgot. What's that, Maud? All the people in the park are looking at the balloon. Yes, you're right, Maud. So they are. Okay. I'll put some of that in writing. I've got some more snaps of our holiday in Norway. You've never seen them, no. Would you like to? Well, here they are. Okay, Mott, at the top on the left is the picture we saw earlier. And then the one on the left at the bottom I took from the boat. The photo in the middle is of one of those special wooden structures they use for drying fish. The one at the top on the right is me and Steph somewhere. I don't know where now. Steph looks funny, I know. She was joking around. And the one at the bottom on the right is up at the North Cap. Or North Cape. Which one do you like best? The one of me and Steph. Yes, pictures of people are often more interesting than pictures of places, huh? Which one do I like the most? I like the one of the North Cape. Well, it's so nice and peaceful there. You know, in the summer, you can sit there all night and watch the sun go down and it never sets. How do you get there? Well, most people drive, but you can also go by bus and you can go by boat. There are boat tours that go there. You don't like traveling by boat, I know, but you can also go by plane. There's an airport about 20 kilometers away near a place called Honingsborg. And from there, you can go by bike or you can walk. Can you also take a taxi? If you've got a lot of money, yes. Well, I think most people stay in Honingsborg. Well, there are a couple of very nice hotels there. Yes, yes, there are. So, how can you get to the North Cape? Here are the answers. You can drive, you can go by bus, you can go by boat, you can fly or go by plane, you can go by bike, you can go by taxi or take a taxi, or you can walk. Now, this is a map of Honingsborg. Let's see if the viewers can find the places. There are five places to name. A, B, C, D and E. We'll start at the Scandic Hotel. Now, next to the Scandic Hotel is a hairdressing salon. And across from the hairdressing salon is a flower shop. And next to the flower shop is a sport shop. So far, so good. Now, next to the Arctic Hotel is a restaurant. Opposite the Arctic Hotel, there's a pharmacy. And next to the pharmacy, there's a brasserie. Then there's also a supermarket near the restaurant on the same side of the street, but further down. All done? OK, here are the answers. Now there are three more places to locate. The best thing to do is sketch this map and draw them in yourself. You'll need some colored pens or pencils. 
But if you like, you can just stick little post-it notes on your computer screen. Or phone, I guess not. Maybe make mental notes. Okay, ready? There's a small store opposite the museum. Draw a small square for the store and colour it green. The tourist information office is behind the Scandic Hotel. Draw a large rectangle and colour it yellow. There's a bank next to the restaurant. Draw a small square for the bank and colour it light blue. OK. Now, ready for the answers? OK. Now imagine I'm a tourist on my bike and I'm on the road in front of the Scandic Hotel. OK, Mott. How do I get to the museum? I go straight on to the roundabout. Then I turn right. And the museum is on my left, opposite a small store. Thank you. OK, this time I'm going to ask the viewers. Again, starting from in front of the Scandic Hotel. How do I get to the pharmacy? Can you tell me? I go straight to the roundabout. Turn left. Go past the brasserie and the pharmacies on my right, opposite the Arctic Hotel, or across from the Arctic Hotel. Thank you, Mark. All right, last one, again from the Scandic Hotel. Could you please tell me the way to the supermarket? Go straight on to the roundabout. Turn left. Go past the Arctic Hotel and restaurant and the supermarkets on your left a little after the bank. Something like that anyway. Hey, Mott. You've got something for the viewers to draw. They need a piece of paper like this and a black pen and a red pen. OK. All set? Now, I'm going to look at the picture as I do this, otherwise I'll forget something. Now, the first thing to do is turn the paper horizontally, like this. OK? Now, in the left of the picture, draw a large rectangle almost as high as the paper. Use your black pen. It should look like this. OK. Now, in the rectangle, draw 10 square windows, five rows of two from the top down. Leave some space at the bottom. Now, in the right of the picture, draw the same thing. A high building with 10 windows. Leave some space between the two buildings. Now, in front of the building on the left, draw some bushes. And at the bottom of the building on the right, draw a door. And colour the door 
black. Then, behind the top right corner of the building on the right, draw the sun. We can't see all of it, but we can see most of it. Now in the middle of the picture, between the buildings, draw a child's balloon. A balloon with a piece of string. Under the balloon, draw a man with a hat. A stick man. He's up in the air, under the balloon. And he's holding the string with his left hand. Now colour the balloon red. Finally, at the bottom of the picture, in the middle, write the words going up. Now your picture should look like this. Do you think that's enough for today? I do too. Okay everyone, I hope you had fun drawing and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.